Hello everyone, I wanted to show you how you can communicate easily between a Python application and a LabVIEW application or the LabVIEW VI uh, by configuring your Python application to be a localhost uh, TCP IP socket server. So here essentially I've written just a very simple Python script that uh, defines for me a mm, server that will be listening for connections. So here I have a server which is a socket. I'm configuring it with essentially uh, the almost default configuration. I am pointing it, binding it with a local host and port 8089 and I'm listening for one connection. Then in an infinite loop I am essentially accepting connections then on the connections that I accepted, I am receiving one command and one command is in my custom protocol, it's just always four bytes, so this is what I'm expecting and I'm printing the command on the screen. Then if the command is in it, I am sending back on the same connection a reply, which is in it done. This can be any reply you want, so essentially in your own application it can be some uh, custom piece of data. Then for play, I am sending play done, and for quit, I am sending quit done, and I'm breaking out of this infinite loop, and uh, at the end I am closing the server connection. And with this simple um, Python code, I am communicating from LabVIEW. So here I have a VI, which I've prepared, and this VI essentially does nothing else than by reacting on the buttons. So I click on the init, play or stop server. It will send the predefined commands to the Python server. And here I establish a connection on the local host port 8089. I send play and I receive nine bytes of a reply back. And I just show them, print them on the screen and I close the connection. So essentially every time you want to send something, you establish a connection, you send it, you receive the reply, and you close the connection. So this is the simplest way how you can do it. Of course there are better ways, maybe better, better designed for your application. Uh, this is just a simple example how, can you, uh, how you can communicate. So when I run both of these, so let me run this simple server first. So it's running right now. Every time I receive a command from LabVIEW, it should be printed on the screen. So now when I start the LabVIEW side and I send init, you can see that it's correctly receiving init and furthermore, it's correctly sending back a reply to the init command. So when I send play, the same thing happens. When I stop the client, I essentially just disconnect from the server, so I could start the client again, that's no problem. And again, I will be receiving the commands correctly, because I established the connection not actually when I stop the client on the, on the LabVIEW side, but when I'm sending the message. That's the moment when I establish the connection. But I can also send a stop server from this side, so it will be quitting, and that will essentially stop my Python side, uh, my Python application. So this is a simple way how you can make LabVIEW communicate with Python. And this is by creating a server on the Python side. There is also an option where you can create the server on the LabVIEW side, and then Python will behave like a client. Probably I will record another movie about this in the future. So I hope this is useful for you. Um, Try to use a mechanism like that whenever you, uh, you, you uh, want to communicate uh, Python and LabVIEW together and let me know if you have any questions.